Hello everyone and welcome back to Kevin on Kathy. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Feed the Beast Monster. Last episode we made a bunch of deep storage units so that our quarry could keep going because um, the uh, the barrels over by the tree generation power farm thing that we've got over here were all getting filled up which was stopping all these chests from working. They were all getting turned off. The quarry was stopping. Everything just wasn't working. Um, so we fixed that but that meant that um, like I've sort of left it overnight and we got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff came through. A lot of these chests actually filled up. Um, I've replaced a few of these with 16k um, storage disks instead of the 4k ones. I think this one's still 4k. I'm pretty sure this one's 16k. Yeah, it is. This one here, I think, is still 4k because we haven't got that much in here. Uh, yeah, that one's fine. I think this one here is 16k as well. But this one, even this one's filling up. Look at this. We've got like 32,000 iron, 22,000 tin, and 20,000 copper. We've got a lot of stuff. And uh, this one was kind of filling up as well, but I've done some stuff to um, to sort of like lower how much stuff's going into this. We had a lot of uh, flint. We had like 40, 50,000 flint. I've binned a lot of it. And uh, if we go down into our little like halfway place here, you can see I've set up a void pipe here that's sort of just getting rid of stuff because for some reason not everything that I wanted to go to the trash can was going to the trash can. So uh, what I've done is I've just set up a void pipe right here straight out of the ender, pearl, ender chest so that it can't really go anywhere else. And um, basically these items here are the ones that were sort of blocking up the systems a lot, filling up the, uh, the discs really fast. We have like, we had like, 10,000 nether quartz and like I say 40,000 flint a couple of thousand of this stuff and some of the things cobblestone is put in here by default Just so it's like I think it'd be a bit less laggy if it's not going all the way down to the uh, the trash can every time But uh, that's basically the stuff I'm getting rid of and that's stopping some stuff getting blocked up I've also set this up over here This is basically a golden chest going into a hopper which is putting stuff into the smeltery and then um, one way to automate the smeltery is if you put um, a fluid duct on the drain and then put a server on it, turn the redstone to ignored, make this an output, it'll instantly put stuff into this um, casting basin. And then if we go down here, the casting basin is being pulled. I put an item duct here with again with a server on it so we can right click, turn the redstone signal to ignored. And so stuff's getting pulled out of the casting basin straight into this chest and then along back into the system to get sorted. And I've set this up because we were getting an absolute crap ton of aluminium. Look at this from the Tinker's Construct. I have no idea why we're getting so much, but we were getting a massive amount of it. And it was like just clogging up this chest. We had like 5k in this chest. So it's still coming in here because I haven't re I haven't rerouted it yet. So I haven't told aluminium to come over here. I think I might do it at some point. But for now, it's just coming in this chest. And every so often, I just move some stuff over here. Uh, I also made this thing here, a reinforced portable tank. Uh, if I type in tank, it's not too hard to make. It's basically just... Um, a hardened tank surrounded by hardened glass, which is a portable tank surrounded by Envar, which is a um, just some copper and glass. I made one of these earlier in the series as well, so I don't think it was too big of a deal that I made one of those off camera. And then we've got this going through a fluid duct into the uh, the steered tank, just so this thing doesn't stop anytime soon. This guy's got like 20 buckets, uh, 21 buckets worth of uh, lava in there, so that's all good. And uh, that's why we've got 276 blocks of aluminium over here, so uh, yeah. I also blocked up all of the uh, blocks of quartz. I also blocked up the blocks of quartz. Blocked up all the nether quartz, so we've now got like 1,700 blocks of quartz instead of like 8,000 straight up nether quartz. So that's what that's doing. I've also changed a little bit of stuff down here because this chest that we had, we had a diamond chest going into a hopper, going into our sort of little pulverizer and um, redstone furnace setup. But when I checked it, the diamond chest was actually full, like full to the brim of all. So what I've done is I've set up a little system over here We've got now seven, I think. Yeah, we've got seven pulverizers and seven redstone furnaces. And if we have a quick look behind the scenes, what I've got going on is pretty much the same setup. I've got a bunch of gold chests going to hoppers, going straight into the um, pulverizers, which output to the bottom. Uh, if we have a look in the little config thing here, they output to the bottom, and then the redstone furnaces, except from the top, and output to the back. So everything just comes through here, goes back out, and then back around to the system. And uh, the way I've done it, it's pretty much the same. I've just got, these are all, um, pipe plugs by the way to stop these connecting because I don't want stuff going into each, each other's lanes and uh, basically what I've got is if you have a look at this here I've basically got a pulverizer and a smeltery for each set of ores now I've, put, I've bundled uh, ferrous and yellowite together because we weren't getting much of those but everything else like I think this one's iron yeah and if you have a look in this chest we've got like an absolute ton of iron um, and then you combine that we haven't got much of everything else at the minute because these things have been sort of powering through everything for the last like 10 minutes but uh, if we have I think we've got a lot of lead as well maybe over like here or here. There, yeah, we've got quite a bit of lead as well. So basically, just stuff comes up, it gets requested by each different pipe, each different ore, and then it gets sent through all the way down, and then actually we need to connect this up. I've put a plug there, and this shouldn't really be a plug there. Uh, let's just move these real quick. I've also powered all this stuff up as well. 
because at the minute yeah that needs to not oh god what have i done oh gosh okay i'm just breaking stuff ignore me there we go and then where's the hopper gone it's, ah, you know did i pick that up nope i hate it when things fall on the floor all right let's see i kind of don't want to break this gold pipe but i think i'm gonna have to let's just grab this guy stop falling about quickly put the gold pipe back down do, 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 do. nothing went wrong there that's fine okay and then we'll put this hopper back down again there we go okay so yeah now and then as soon as everything's finished it comes through here i should put the plugs there is where i should put them uh there and there to stop them going back into the hoppers and oh come on there we go so now everything just comes out of there the logistics pipes are so they go the right way because they are going back down the same pipe that the ores come from so all the ores come in this way through a golden pipe that just runs under the floor here you can kind of see it it comes down here and uh, head straight along and then when they fin when they've been processed they go straight back around and back up to uh, the chest and stuff so that's working kind of well and i don't think we're gonna get backed up on ores anytime soon uh, actually a few of these are even turned off because we ain't got that much stuff uh, but yeah i think we're doing pretty well i'm contemplating upgrading most of these hardened energy conduits to redstone ones because as you can see i don't know if these still yeah these are kind of running a little bit low i think because we've got so many of them and they're hooked up to the same power line that's powering this farm over here uh, I mean, how are these doing? These are doing okay. I think they're taking priority. But I think we're kind of reaching the max limit of uh, capacity on these hardened energy conduits. Uh, we do have a few redstone ones about, but I think we'd have to really like be determined to make a bunch more of them. Actually, I might just wait and see, because I don't think we've got that much obsidian. I think we've got about 10 left. Oh, two. Wow, gosh. I think I made a bunch of hardened... Or maybe we've got a bunch of pulverized obsidian. Yeah, we've got 79 pulverized obsidian. Um, so we could make a bunch of redstone energy conduits. Uh, I'll see how this holds up. It doesn't seem to be doing... Oh, God. Oh, I, took, I broke a thing, didn't I? <laughs> That's why. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where was it? Here. That's why it's not working. There we go. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's too bad. These machines are still running. We're still getting power. So I don't think it's too bad. We should be okay for now. If we stop getting power, like a few of these have been turning off. This has been slowing down a little bit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep an eye on it. But uh, what I want to do this episode is I want to go and enchant my diamond pickaxe because as you can see I'm level 38 now which is a pretty nice level and it means that if I go to the spawn where there is... Did that not work? Oh, here we go. Just a bit laggy. If we go to spawn, there is a nice little... Um, oh, come on, let me through. A nice little enchanting table that we can use here. And if I can get a nice level 30 enchant on my pickaxe like this one, hopefully I'm, up, I'm hoping for fortune. Don't know if I get it. Oh, Fortune 2. Eh, not quite Fortune 3, but it's still Fortune 2 is nice. And the reason I want this is because I was out looking for some stuff in the quarry world. I was actually looking for clay to make all those redstone furnaces. And I found some pillars of diamond ore. I can see them over there. So I put diamond pillars. Because I was really surprised. It's like a bunch of diamond... Wow, really? <laughs> God. Okay. Um. Wow. I've got to keep an eye on my... I've got... That's what we've got to do. Uh, within the next couple of episodes, I want to set up some um, some actual armor on this power suit armor we've got because I keep dying because I keep like not looking at my health bar when I land. So uh, that's definitely on the list of things to do. Right, where's all my stuff? Hopefully, it's not in the tree. I do like the bounciness we get with the uh, the crystals. Where is this stuff? I think I could do slash uh, back. Okay, there we go. That's kind of cool. A little bit cheaty, but it's fine. It's fine. There we go. Take that stuff. Okay, right. Got our pickaxe back. And now what I'm going to do is, because this is quite a long way away, I am just going to go to my map menu and teleport there. Now, as you can see, there's one here, but I think there's also a few more. Like, I think I saw one somewhere else pretty close by. You know, there's another one there. So I'm wondering how many diamonds we can actually get from this massive pillar of, like, stuff. Now, I have a bad feeling that it's going to be, like dangerous and there's going to be like something that explodes at the bottom maybe or because these miscraft worlds are usually quite generous with the stuff they give you but they're usually really dangerous at the same time like um usually if i'm just flying around look there's another one there um like these veins of stuff here oh my god what the fudge is that that looks hideous but uh, yeah usually when i'm flying around stuff like these like veins of nether quartz usually like just start exploding randomly and then it's not very fun but oh god oh there we go what the f what what Okay, I'm not too sure what that is, but I'm just going to move away from it um, pretty quickly and go find another pillar of diamonds. So we've only got 33 already. Look at this. This is ridiculous. 
I'm wondering how many diamonds we can actually get from this. I bet we can get a ton. Actually, what I might do is because there doesn't seem to be many of these near to spawn, which is quite, which is a bit unfortunate. But uh, there seems to be quite a few over this way where I am right now. And if I have a quick look over here, I'm pretty sure I saw some more. Yeah, there's another one there. There's another one there. I think that's just a pillar of stuff. But look at that. Look how many stuff there are here. What I think I might do is I might keep that waypoint there. And uh, once our quarry's finished, I think it's on about level 20 now. So it's almost finished. It's getting down to redstone and diamond level. So we should be getting a lot of those soon. Our quarry actually has fortune 3 on it. So what I might do is just put it over like as many of these pillars as I can. And we should get an absolute like butt ton of diamonds. Hopefully. Because... There is an absolute ton of these things here. I, I want to. I'm just gonna go close. To, what the fudge is this thing? Who thinks I can kill it? Anyone? No one? Just me? Yeah, what are you gonna do? The advantage of being able to fly is actually really nice. Hopefully, it drops like 12 diamonds for all this trouble. Oh, what did it drop? Oh, did it drop a gas tier? Oh, that's kind of cool. A gas tier and some gunpowder. I'll take that. What the flipping heck is this? Oh my god. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go home. Because I don't like it here. Home. Actually, let's... Uh, I'm going to teleport to my latest death. I just want to have a quick look at how the quarry's doing. And then we'll teleport home. So yeah, I think it's doing pretty well. Like I say, it's, I don't know what's happened here. We've got like a little island chunk that seems to have come back. And my quarry just seems to be ignoring it. So I'm not going to complain. But we are getting pretty far down. I mean, you can't see through this like ender stuff. But we are getting, I think we're about level 20. I flew down there earlier. So hopefully we should start getting some redstone and diamonds pretty soon. Which we haven't been getting up till now. But if we go and have a quick look at our base. We have an absolute, like, butt ton of coal. If we have a look over here. We've actually got, I think, like 50,000 coal. Yeah, look at that. We've got 50,167 coal. And I'm pretty sure that's because we put Fortune 3 onto our quarry. So instead of getting just, like, one coal per... Uh, and it's not one coal per block, is it? Yeah, it is. Instead of getting just, like, one block per block of coal we're actually getting like a god knows how many quite a few which is pretty cool so i think we'll probably have to upgrade some of these like this one especially because it's on 13,000 out of 16,000 bytes used when we start coming across redstone and diamonds i think we might have to upgrade that to um maybe a 64k storage unit and i think the same is probably going to be true of the ingots as well because this one's coming up on 13k as well so um i think we have to upgrade a few of these i might also upgrade the uh, junk one just for safety reasons I'll probably upgrade them all when I upgrade them. Uh, why are you guys coming here? You should be going down to the all processing unit. I'm just going to keep an, I'll keep an eye on that. See if that one changes. Anyway, let's go and make ourselves some armor for this power suit armor because I'm fed up with dying. So let's have a look. What options do we have when it comes to the armor? So we've got iron plating, diamond plating, energy shield, uh, heat sink, and... Apiarist armor, which I think is probably something from forestry. A set of forestry apiarist um, armor integrated into your armor. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool if we ever decide to do some forestry stuff. But I think... I'm pretty sure the... Um, okay, iron plating... Uh, basic plating is heavy but protective. Uh, advanced plating is lighter, harder, and more protective than basic plating but much harder to make. Uh, heat sink, a thick layer of plating to soak up heat. Energy shields are much lighter than plating but consume energy. Okay. So what do we need to make energy shields? We need two force field emitters. I think that graphic's wrong there, because I'm pretty sure force field emitters look somewhat different, but I might be wrong. Force field emitters. This thing here. So we're going to need some... Oh, gosh. So we're going to need either some ender pearls. Actually, it's not that bad. We need some ender pearls, some uh, solenoid. I think we've taught our thing to make most of these. Um... Advanced circuits. Let's have a look. Can we make some advanced circuits? How many would we need? We'd want... Is it, do you just need one per set of armor or is it like four? We need two. And is it the same for each piece of armor? So we need eight. Can we make eight advanced circuits? Please, Mr. Automated Logistics Pipe System. Missing rubber. Now, rubber's been quite a problem some while now, actually. Um, I did move this thing over here. I made some extra copper cables to so that this could be here instead of in the floor. But um, we definitely do need to get some rubber. Now, um, I think we have a rubber tree just over here, quite possibly. Yeah, there's one right here. Um, now, there's a few things we could do. We could set up a separate rubber farm, uh, like a separate tree farm, maybe like here, just for rubber trees. Or we could add it to our tree farm that we've got already. Now, I have a feeling that adding it to the one we've got already would not be the greatest idea. I don't know, it might be. It wouldn't be too bad, because what you can do in the um, 
the planter is designate like sections where you want things to grow. So at the minute we haven't designated anything, the filter. So ev so whatever's in here just grows anywhere. But we could say designate this northwest like uh, section to um, rubber tree. Now I'm just gonna turn my sound on a little bit because that's just really loud. We could change this northwest section to just grow rubber trees, and that'd mean that this um, top like square of uh, if you imagine the grid as a nine by nine, like split into squares. Like there'll be a row there and a row there. This is really hard to do because I can't hover. Um, I'm pretty sure there used to be a hover mode, like a, a f um, flight control, but it might be in the. Uh, there's an add-ons mod for this um, for this mod. There's like a oh, for God's sake, ah! <laughs> Jesus. There's a, actually I'll just do back again. There's a oh. Da oh, da oh, oh, that's annoying. Okay. Um. Oh God, like okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, there's an add-on for this mod that allows you to um, get extra add-ons, and flight control might be one of those. Uh, where did I die? Was it like landing on one of these trees? Cut down this tree, please. System of trees. Where's my stuff gone? Oh, there we go. So yeah, it might be worth just changing this, like, um, one of these quadrants to being rubber tree farms. I was just thinking maybe it'd block up the system, but what we could do is just have it when it comes over here, instead of going like we could have all the stuff going like this and then just have a chest on the end with an extractor module pulling it out. So everything else like all the rubber and all that other stuff just goes straight back around to the system. So I might actually do that. I might try let's try set up oh I could just go and do something like diamond plating on my uh, armor. I might do that. I think for now I'm going to put some diamond plating on, but I think I will start working on um, integrating this rubber tree thing, and then when we get enough rubber, because we do need quite a bit, we need 48 to get this thing up and running. But for now, let's see, have a look what it takes to make some diamond plating. Uh, let's have a look. We need advanced plating. Okay. Uh, advanced plating. This stuff here. So we're going to need... Oh, wow. So really? What else can we use? Oh, iron gears. Wow, really? An, an, in an advanced circuit equal to an iron gear? That seems a bit... It seems a bit one-sided. An iron gear. Oh, is it an invar gear? Okay, an invar gear. That's a bit less one-sided, but still, I'd say that's pretty one-sided. All uh, right. Do we have any spare slots? I've been upgrading this a little bit. We've got a few more here. I lost my sign creator again, so I have no idea where that's gone. But I made. Um, I was basically setting this up so that it could make um, pulverizers and macerators because I didn't really feel like making five of those each or seven. Did we make seven each? I think we did, didn't we? We made seven of each, so I didn't really feel up to that. So, uh, uh, it's fine, I'll just make them myself. We'll request a bunch of the, how much of these do we need? We just need one? Yeah, we need one. And this gives you one. Okay, so we're going to need, what, uh, five? Four. We're going to need four invar, four iron gears. System, I request, I demand you give me four iron gears. There we go. Let's go grab a bunch of invar from upstairs, which we should have some in here. We do, do, do. I'm sure we had some invar. Did I put it in one of these? We got twenty there. That should be enough. I'm sure I'm in. I'm sure I had more invar. Let's have a look. Uh, invar. Yeah, we got 119 lying about somewhere. Where the flipping exit invar? It's in there. Gosh, I knew it. I knew it'd be hiding out in there. Okay, let's throw some of that in there. We don't need all this. Uh, but we're probably gonna need. Am I getting some server lag? Or yeah, I feel like I am. Let's just throw that out. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bit of a laggy day, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Let's just shift click on this thing. Really? Not going to work for me? Going to make me do it myself? Is it a piece of, it's a piece of iron, isn't it? Not an iron gear. Ah. Oh, well. You can never go wrong having iron gears. Never go wrong. I'll just throw these in here for now. I'm sure we'll need them at some point. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of stuff in here, actually. We should probably sort some of that stuff out. But we'll come back to that. That's fine. We've got a lot of stuff that we need to come back to. All right, gears. And then we're going to need a bunch of diamonds. We've got 96 diamonds. I used some of the um, Mimishite, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Some of the little purple crystal things. This stuff here. Mimishite. I'm going to call it Mimishite. Sounds bad, but there we go. We've got 7,000 of that stuff. We can make an absolute ton of diamonds. But uh, here we go. There we go. Okay, let's install some uh, some defensive plating. Okay, plating thickness. Now I think it was like 
20 kilograms and you start to, or maybe 28 kilograms and you start to like slow down and can't move as fast and stuff like that. So I'm going to try just going about halfway on each of these, so about five kilograms and seeing if that's okay. Okay, so I can still run just as fast by the looks of things. Uh, how's my damage protection? Oh god, okay. How am I for fall damage protection? Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. So I, I really shouldn't have to worry too much about fall damage now, that's pretty cool. So, I assume I will take damage at some point. Probably shouldn't really test this, it's not something I should really test, but... Oh no, look at that! Yeah, okay. So probably diamond plating's pretty good, let's have a look. Yeah, okay. So I don't think I'm going to have to worry about fall damage anymore, to be honest. So that's pretty nice. And I think I'm going to call the episode there, guys. So if you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!